Where are you from? You mentioned it. You're from Poland? New Jersey. Not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Poland, New Jersey. <laughs> That's a new city. They're very similar, right? Wyoming. Um, no, I'm from Poland originally. Yeah. That's that's amazing. What part? Would I even know the difference? Uh, well, I grew up, I grew up up north by the beach, uh, small city called Koshaling. Okay. No one knows about. But God I was <laughs> I was living in Warsaw for a long time. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Were you, so dance was your thing right away, and was that something your parents put you into, or was that something you wanted to do? Well, my mom signed me to music school first of all and then she was like oh i want you to dance you're a girl i'm like i don't want to dance it's for stupid kids you know and she's like you're gonna be dancing so then i started doing it and kind of liking it um so then i started doing hip-hop and she was like oh that's only a hobby i want you to be a dentist or a lawyer i'm like i'm not doing that she's like no no no, you're gonna quit i'm like i'm not gonna quit you know like and like at some point it just turned into you know like i started teaching uh, kids when I was like 16 and oh, it's wow. just like yeah I've been teaching okay what so you did music first it was like at the same time okay yeah, yeah. what and what were you playing musically uh piano flute and then I was like I want to be a badass sign me up for drums classes wow <laughs> I was going to the dungeon actually so uh, there are classes in the dungeon in that school <laughs> <laughs> so wait, I love the idea of your mom saying you have to do this and then you saying, okay, I will, but it's got to be this discipline. Yeah. Like you have to dance. Okay, I'm doing hip hop. You got to do music. Okay, but I'm going to do drums. Yeah. I like that you like one up to Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. So you probably were doing that all hours of the day, it sounds like. Yeah. You go to school and then at all of your night. Was... Like the music squad, I'll get up, like start my class at like 7.30 oh, and wow. then you don't get out of school until like four because yeah. you get all this like private piano classes and you know this and singing and choir right. and that is mandatory it's yeah hell that's i would never send my kid to that oh really it's that tough yeah. but do you how do you look back on that then do you look back on it finally that you have those skill sets or was it too much work to no i do i'm really appreciative of it but like after i finished that school it left such a like scar on me because they force you it's and it's like, you know, it's back in the days, it's like 20 years ago. And then they force you to do a lot of things that you don't like. And there's right. no saying no yeah. to that. So it's a lot of like classical music. And like there were things I didn't understand. I was like, I just hate playing piano, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then I didn't, I didn't go back to playing it until I came to LA. I was like, oh, there's a piano in my right. classroom. Yes. I may improvise a little yeah. bit. And I got back to it. With that ease, you know, I yeah. think that's what's missing, was missing when I was like, you know, training the, the ease of things, you know? Well, that's the thing. When you're a kid, you don't want to do anything. <laughs> and I feel like no kid wants to play piano. But then when you're an adult, every kid, every adult wants to be able to play piano. Yeah, true. So it's like you have to force yourself to do it, but you don't want to at the time. Yeah. Did you ever see? I just asked my last guest this too. Did you ever see the movie Whiplash? Yeah. Oh. Did that Was that triggering for you? Was that hard oh. to watch? No, it was like I don't have like traumas and stuff, you know. Right. Uh, but I loved the movie. <laughs> I was like, yes, yes, and especially. But you never had like drums. an. But you never had like an instructor that was. Oh no! They're aggressive. Were, oh, mentally, phys- most of them. No, oh, not well, physically, but like mentally. Yeah. Right, but so that. Did, I don't know. I just like, for me, I'm like, oh, that's what it is, you know. Like hmm. you move on. Yeah. I, You're I very guess. well adjusted. <laughs> Or you, you have know, a lot all these pills have been working. <laughs> or you have a lot buried down there deep that you need to release some. <laughs> well, beer has been helping. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I give every guest beer. Mm-hmm. That's amazing. I mean, I feel like to have that many disciplines and to be great to excel at that many is 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 amazing. Because it you. sounds like you had success, obviously. Yeah, see, like for me, it's just because I'm. I guess I I was raised to be like super ambitious and stuff. Like, for me, like, oh, yeah, I'm happy. But, like, yeah, I keep going. Keep, so, for yeah. me, sometimes it's good to just, like, look back. You've done all these things. It's good. I'm like, yeah, buy one more, you know? Like, yeah. So some, sometimes that becomes an obstacle for me. Is, it, is that a Polish mentality? I guess. Is it really? I mean, well, you can find people who are not like that in Poland, right. of course. But, but generally, is there work ethic, like, let's... Yeah. Oh, interesting. I think so. Yeah, yeah. It's not the American one. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I moved here. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah, you're gonna just shoot above everybody. Here, it's like, let's, like, let's come maybe through. I'll do something. <laughs> no, you guys are awesome. We're all entitled as well. We want to, we want the the end result without putting in the work, especially no, that's the younger not people. True. Yeah, it's pretty true. <laughs> it's pretty true. Not all 
all of the people. America invented participation trophies. It's true. I don't know if that's true. It feels true. I hate these trophies. There you go. <laughs> I'm like, it's bullshit. Exactly. 